how are you i am hoping you guys are doing great as always and in this lecture we are going to discuss about reshaping the array what is the shape of the array how to reshape it how to generate random numbers how to flat an array those are all the things that we are going to discuss in this video so without wasting any time just jump into it uh, and i'll see you on the other side then so uh, as you can see we are going to discuss about uh, reshaping the array for that purpose i'm using the same environment which is google collab i have created a new notebook here and i am having the resources of that now first thing that i need to do is importing my numpy as np right once that is imported i will call some functions like the first function that i would like to uh, tell you is how to generate random numbers right because this is a very important concept in terms of gaming as well right uh, so how to generate random number for that purpose i am having a function called as np dot random dot random np dot random dot random bracket open bracket close and here we are having multiple parameters that i can pass and i'm going to pass the main parameter which is going to be the shape and the shape is going to be like uh, what should be the shape of that particular random number generator area that you want to have in my case let's suppose i want to create an array of uh, just three cross three let's execute this and here you can see you are having an array of size three cross three and all the elements are randomly generated even if i am executing this again in a new cell here you can see these elements are totally randomly generated as well right and now uh, the main uh, point that we have now is all the elements that are generated are from a particular range and that range is from 0 to 1 minimum element that can have a 0 maximum we can have as 1 and these all the elements are in that particular range only so let's suppose if you want to make uh, if you are having a function that you want to call uh, randomly at any place you don't want to call it uh, on in any order you want to call it randomly so what you can do you can generate a random number okay like if i'm writing np dot random dot random and not passing anything we are getting a random number so what we can do we can call a function like if this particular function is greater is giving you the value greater than 0 0.5 right then i'll print uh okay just run the function okay and else I would, else I would say print don't run the function let's suppose this is something that we want to do so don't run the function this is again randomly generated the number is randomly generated and we are checking if the element value is more than 0 0.5 which is again randomly generated between 0 to 1 so this is how you can generate random numbers and this is how I would say uh, it is used in uh, a lot of game playing algorithms okay this is how we can generate random numbers now after that we can also uh, discuss about how we can generate some numbers in a particular sequence to generate some numbers in a particular sequence we are having two functions right first of them is going to be uh, the arrange function and second of them is line space so let's discuss how the arrange function uh, works and p dot a range function i have defined this is almost like a for loop here we need to define the starting condition ending condition and the difference starting condition let's suppose if i am passing here that i want to start from uh, one i want to go up to 10 and every time i want to make a distance of one so let's execute this and it is giving you one two three four five six seven eight nine why till 9 because this is something that we are, uh, will not get there we will go one less than that if i have i need to go up to 10 i need to write here 11 only then i can reach up to 10 okay so now here i have written let's suppose 10 and now if you want to make the distance of 3 so the first element is going to be 1 then 4 then 7 because after 7 distance of 3 will return you 10 because but there uh, i want to get there right because uh, i can go up to nine only so this is how i can uh, generate a range here yeah? so now the less function we are having is np dot line space this is also kind of the same function but here it will go for the starting 
till the end with equidistant okay uh, what i mean to say about it so uh, for that purpose let's discuss about the same condition i'm having one i want to start from one go up to 10 and every time uh, i here i am defining the distance what should be the distance between 1 and 4 7 and uh, 7 and 4 right those are going to be 3 here i need to define how many values i want in between let's suppose if i want 10 values in between execute it here you can see uh, i will get 10 values between 1 and 10 and all those values are equidistant from each other 2 and 1 1 distance 3 and 1 1 unit distance 4 and 3 one unit distance five and four one unit distance if i want to go for let's suppose one two seven and i want ten values as that so these values are starting from one go up to ten and all these values are equal distance from each other like uh, 1.666 minus one i will get 0.666 for uh, distance between these two are also 0.166 uh, 0.66 these as well these as well so this is how line space function works the main difference between them is here i will start the starting condition ending condition and here i will define how many values i want within this particular range here i will define the starting condition ending condition what should be the difference between those values right so those totally depends upon uh, where you want to use it if you want to uh, if you want to need a range function you can go for that if you want to go for line space you can go for that as well that's totally up to you how you are using it once that is done, after that we are having reshape function. We can reshape uh, an array. Like if I am writing ar ar r here, executing it and running my array here. So the shape of the array is nothing but three cross three. Uh, let's do one thing. Let's change the shape into uh, four comma three. Okay. So if I'm going for four comma three, this is going to be a shape and printing the array. This is my final shape that I'm having. Four rows, three columns. What if I want to reshape this array? If I want to reshape this array, I'm having a function named as np dot reshape. I can go for that, right? So here I'm writing np dot reshape. Okay, I want to reshape my array. This is something I want to decide here. What I want to reshape, I want to reshape my array. What should be the output shape? The output shape is going to be uh, like earlier the shape is three or uh, four comma three. Let's suppose if I want to convert it into three comma four shape. Let's execute it. Let's write array inside it, and after that, if I'm printing my array, so here you can see the difference. Earlier we are having four rows, three columns. Now we are having three rows, four columns. First element is the same second is the same third is the same but fourth element which is here earlier is now here this element is here this is how we can reshape it if i want to reshape it even further to let's suppose uh, four uh, six comma two and printing the array so here you can see it has even changed its shape but the main thing that we need to take into consideration is whenever you are reshaping an array the initial number of element or initial size of the element should be equal to final size of the element size means how many elements are there in a list earlier if we are talking about an array of size 4 comma 3 4 comma 3 means 4 multiplied by 3 total we are having 12 elements 3 comma 4 again 12 elements 6 comma 2 again 12 elements the number of element or the size of the array should be same in all the condition only then you can reshape an array otherwise you cannot reshape an array once reshape is done, we are having another function which is called as flatten. How we can flatten array and what do you mean by flatten? So, err dot flatten. Okay, this is the original array that we are having. If I want to flat this array, or we need to write as err dot flatten execute it, and the array that we are having earlier in two dimension is now converted into one dimension. Whatever number of dimensions you are having earlier will be converted into a one dimensionally either it is three dimension four five six any number of dimension we are having earlier will be converted into a one dimensional array that is called as flattening the array this is how we can flatten the arrays okay so these are the basic function that we are having uh, to play with the shapes to get the range to generate random numbers okay and in the upcoming lectures we are going to discuss about few more functions that we are having which is about indexing how to perform 
arithmetic operations on the arrays okay so these are all the things that we are going to discuss in the upcoming videos so yes that's pretty much it and i'll see you in the next one take care